Welcome back to the bazaar. The new patch definitely shook things up a little bit. And Vanessa probably stands at the bottom of the totem pole in terms of consistently finding a broken build, at least that can compete with how broken the other two characters can make their builds, specifically Dually. I do still think Vanessa is the most fun character to play with the most variety. Like all of her options are kind of balanced. But yeah, when other characters have crazy stuff, it's uh, yeah, it's kind of it's a little bit more difficult. Langshan, I really don't like. I already mentioned that before. Pet Rock is good. So the only build that's really, truly insane on Vanessa now is um, the Infinite Ammo build. I mean, it already was the top build in terms of absurdity, but... Yeah, I think we're gonna... I mean, I could test this. It's... The problem is you lose one fight and it's kind of over. <laughs> But it is worth the most gold. That rock is kind of crazy, though. I'm going to take Bedrock. Oh, and we have Iron Sharpens Iron. Okay, it's looking, it's looking good for a gen generic weapon build. Income is huge. Chest is big, too. I think I'm going to take the income. Can I beat Viper? 18 damage is going to take me 6 swings, which... 30 seconds. Do I die in 30 seconds against Viper? Might be too close for comfort. It might just be too close. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go banana bowl for safety. I believe I lose that actually the viper. Since I start poison three, it procs at four seconds, putting it to five poison. This literally takes me 30 seconds to kill. Probably would have died. Unless it crits. If it crits once it's over, but too risky. Even the battle? Okay, blue nanos are fine. Just 20 max HP. It's not too bad. Small friends, small medium. I mean, I definitely need items. So, let's see what we can get here. Okay, shark claws are good. Shoe blade. I'm not a fan of Shoe Blade, but I'm still going to buy it because we need as many weapons as possible. This should be a day one win, especially with 20 max HP. Shield items, I'll just take the experience. So now leveling up has become more important than before, and it was already really good. But now you get five options, and at level five, you get, I believe, the transition between five and six, you get a level up your leftmost item, which is huge. Okay, they just have a better setup than I do. Yeah, they started with um, Silver Shark Claws, which is just better than, than Bronze, obviously. So, unfortunate. Vanessa versus Vanessa, they have the stronger Day 1 skill as well. I have more of a scaling skill, be better in the late game. So I guess I just take the L there. Yep, upgrading Shark Claws sounds fun and good. Mountain Pass for income. XP probably. Rogue Scrapper. Can I beat that? I. Uh, I want to say no, actually. I think it might be close. So I'm taking 60 every like six seconds, I think. And then the other thing deals 20. I might be able to beat it actually with the. Yeah, we have the crit chance too. It might actually... Shoe Blade's not that bad with Pet Rock. I think I beat it, actually. It would be tragic if I didn't, though. But yeah. Oh, it's 10 seconds. Okay, we definitely beat it. It's just this is annoying, but again, since we have scaling, it should be able to get it done fast enough. The initial burst of 40 shields annoying. Ah... Uh... If I do win, it's gonna be close. I need some crits. At least one crit, right? Come on. Unbeliever. It's gonna come through. Crits. No. I think I got zero crits, right? Uh, a little bit too ambitious, I guess. And I overestimated how good the club was, and I still lost. What a disaster. Oh well. Okay, butterfly swords are fine. Skill pretty good. Max HP. 
This is scary. Oh man, I lost I lost two experience, which is again, I just mentioned how important leveling up was and I just screwed myself. Oh my goodness. It's not gonna one tap me though. So maybe I can They didn't position their duct tape correctly there. Maybe I win actually. I don't know if the poison proc's fast enough. Uh the rock! Yes, holy shit. <laughs> that was scary. Very close fights. My ship red, but I don't use Definitely gotta make my <laughs> EXP back though, so I gotta go for XP here. Okay, return the crates. Leftmost weapon damage, all weapons damage, get a weapon. Yeah, it's looking like get a weapon here. Need some help. Okay, double barrel is not it though. Tools, tools, star chart? Yeah. You always, you see tools, you take tools. Shovel's good. If I find yo yo, you'd probably buy it. Save my life once. <laughs> no. Hey, no I star chart, no myself. fishing rod. Quality oh, well, that was not bad. Powder flask is pretty good. Okay, kind of same situation. Do, do I just lose to Etherite? <laughs> now I'm scared. I'm a little bit. Yeah, I'm definitely mildly traumatized now. Hmm. I think I win, but what if if I lose, it is so over. I want to say that I win, though. No, she has shielding, too. Ah, oh, I don't know. I'm taking the risk. Let's go, let's go, let's go! You gotta believe in yourself. Okay, it hits the worst things possible with the haste, which is kind of bad. Looking okay. As long as I don't leave them with the shield when this procs. I think we win. Yeah, we're good. The reload was clutch. Okay. Oof. I was correct to trust myself there. Rigged would be huge. Nope. Barbed wire is fine. Not very playable though. Non weapon. Ammo's good. There are the daggers. The dead years. I don't want. To, I don't want a bronze revolver. A level up on barrel. Okay, why not? It's a big damage increase. Big burst increase. Let's go with some chocolate. They they gotta buff the chocolate the chocolate bars. They're actually really bad now. They either have to make them cheaper or they have to buff the scaling. Really not good right now. Okay, upgrade weapon. Fantastic. This should be a win. We're slowly scaling as well, so. I guess that's the thing you can do with Vanessa. The only problem is I already lost a PvP fight, right? I did. You can go 10 wins in a row with Vanessa with a, just a flat weapon build. Just by pushing straight damage, just burst damage. It's usually enough to pick apart most opponents. This is unfortunate. Oh, we win. Okay. Thought it was unfortunate, but because I was taking a lot of damage. Because of yo-yo, triple flail, double longbow. I have more HP than them. That's crazy. Large items for cove, large items for submarine. You could see that. Large items for both. This money. What should I do with it? I'm down for that. Okay. Probably this. I do not like these items anyways. I will keep them though, since there are some level up options that scale off the amount of weapons you hold. So it makes sense to hold on to it. Whoa. Damn, okay. I'm so poor though. I think it's... Uh, actually, charge skills are not that good. It is somewhat difficult on a weapon build to find charge. I think I'm gonna go for upgrades. We take pride in our okay, rock upgrade. Okay, these are both fantastic. I think I might have to sell the cove. Yeah, it's not enough to just sell the shovel. I mean, it already paid for itself. It's not that bad. These are very clutch upgrades. 
specifically rock. 15% crit chance. Brawler is always insane. They did technically buff the hammer, I guess. I would consider it a nerf, but because I don't like playing hammer on my board. I feel like winning fights is pretty important. But yeah, now it, it uh, levels up the left the item to the left of it. I guess you can take an item into your inventory if you have enough. And just upgrade it there. This is interesting. The late game version of this build is mostly focused around throwing knives, but if I'm... If I'm focusing more on what's immediately powerful, it's way better to buff the submarine. Think about it some more. Become small items. Yeah, I guess. Well, okay, what small items do I really want? Not much, right? Double bail roll is definitely still good here on this board. I might just take an item. Okay. Two gold, I guess. Waiting to be filled. Leftmost item. Upgrade aquatic. That's ridiculous. Okay. Now we're really strong. Diamond is two times the scaling of, of gold. Alright. It's... I mean, realistically, I think the most power would be double barrel upgrade. I could see double barrel potentially being on, a, on our uh, final board as well. I doubt submarine is going to be on the final board. Just takes too much space. And eventually the shield doesn't matter. That's the thing. I don't know. Maybe the six extra damage on, on throwing knives just doesn't really matter. So I'm just going to hope that's the case. This should be a free win. Dooley should be still relatively weak early. Most insane character in the late game, though. Oh, mid to late game. Actually, mid game there are some crazy... Well, no. Actually, no. Wait, wait, wait. Armadillo is insane early game. I forgot. I think I lose. <laughs> Never mind. I'm still... In my mind, it's still the previous Dooley for some reason. With bad early game. But I totally forgot Armadillo is just cracked now. Completely broken item. It's unreal how good that, that buff was for it. Beta Ray. Not great. Small items. Impossible to get pet rock almost. I think it's actually impossible. Well, I have to check the stats, but... Throwing knives upgrade could be good. Flask upgrade's not very good. Actually, it's fine. Mm, eh, probably docks. Docks for... A tool for star chart, potentially. What? Pre-recorded? <laughs> Really pre recorded. Oh my goodness. Okay. Holy shit. Yeah, crit scaling is ridiculous. That's one of the things that if you find it, your build can become even more degenerate because you don't need the. Um... Why do I keep forgetting Crow's Nest? Yeah, I keep forgetting the name for some reason. All right. It's looking fantastic now. Crit scaling. It's going to make the daggers better. Especially because we have some starting crit, so it, the, um, the range of crit that we want is about like 25 to 30 at least to start becoming like really insane. How would you also scales really well with sub. As when you poison, freeze. Okay, well. That basically means that if we find an enchantment, it would be nice to have poison enchantment. Small and large, small and large. Probably just push levels. We get an item upgrade here. This is a good question. I think it's Pet Rock. That's the most likely thing to stay on our board. Submarine would be more power, but... Actually, Submarine upgrades kind of cracked early. Am I considering late game or early game? I feel like I should have just considered upgrading the Submarine for wind streaking. That was a mistake. I regret it. Yeah, I actually do regret that. I think that was a relatively big mistake. With my current setup. Pistol Sword. Pistol Sword is... Is insane. It's also gold. Figurehead is also crazy. 
This is interesting. This is very interesting. I kind of want both. I think submarine's done, actually. I made the right call. I want to buy both. Can I buy both? 32. Gone, gone. 10. Yeah, I can buy. Alright, let's do it. Just toss that on my back and I'll trot it to your door. I think it's correct to sell the shovel. Because right now, this is still good enough, even without the reload. Alright, so, faster activation on Shark Claws, 20%, 50 damage on all the weapons, and we have crit scaling, so this will probably go off pretty frequently. It's looking very strong right now. B big burst. Burst damage. Crit scaling eventually is going to help me go over the top. I doubt... Oh my... Diamond Harmadillo. But then... This is why Vanessa's so good. You really have to lean into the strategy now as Vanessa. You want to just kill them before they can even go off. One of the weaknesses Dually has is very long cooldowns comparatively. Like whereas you have like 3 to 4 second activations, Dually has like 5 to 6 usually. Especially with Harmadillo. Or like 4, well 4 is the minimum but... So Aquatic for Figurehead would be insane. Not sure I can buy, I can't even buy it. So it's probably non-weapon. Life Preserver Silver, not bad. Small items are not necessary now. Skills could be good. An upgrade for this would be huge. When you win a fight, two gold, when you burn... Oh my goodness. Yeah, I could... Yeah, yeah, I'm, I mean, I don't... I don't see why I wouldn't take this. The burn freeze is good, but... Alright, so let's just grab this. I sense much uncertainty. It's looking great. So every time I use an ammo item, this gets to fire. Well, it doesn't actually use itself, but... It does a bunch of damage. The only problem with this build... Is that when I'm out of ammo, this is useless. Kind of. I kind of want to replace this with something that isn't an ammo item, actually. So otherwise, if they have more max HP than I can handle, I will just lose. Oh yeah, there's also this. Yeah, this is huge as well now. But plus one ammo is insane. I always have to take that. Every single time. Max HP is not that relevant. I'm just kind of clapping cheeks right now, so... Oh yeah, Star Chart. I forgot about that. I almost forgot that I had Star Chart. Six gold, two experience. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Small and medium, this could be good. Mostly medium. But yeah, that's good. It's arguably better... than Double Barrel. The issue is I can't really spend 8 here, I think. Oh my goodness. No way. Am I actually keeping double barrel on the board? Will inspire the crew. It's falling off quickly. I think it's a no. I think I think it's actually a no. I might even buy shoe blade. Nah. Eh, I'm doing okay on money. It is still good right now. It's just that shark claws is... Probably going to be cut soon, I think. Because it's actually not doing much. When all my stuff is ammo-based. Oh well. The quicker the fight. It is buffing itself and the pet rock, I guess. So it's still not bad. Maybe it's worse to have it on this side, actually. Maybe we should put it on this side. Because the 50 extra damage might matter more than the cooldown. Because these go off before this does, anyways. I think it's actually true. Yeah, I shouldn't have it on the left. It's a mistake. Monster skills are crazy. Or can be crazy. First time you freeze each fight, slow all opponent's items. Holy shit. 
Your small diamond items have their cooldowns reduced by 40%. This is broken. This is literally broken. It's so hard to get this. I will take it. Okay, Pet Rock is degenerate now. There's a three second Pet Rock. Once this is diamond, it's going to be degenerate as well. It's going to be able to pop off at uh, 1.8 or something, which is crazy. Small and large, I just need money. I need money. Leftmost, what? Oh, yeah. I for Oh, I need to sell that. Yeah, the upgrades are a little bit more chaotic now. So, like, they can offer you things that are not relevant. Like, upgrade heal item, I have no heal item. Upgrade shield item, I have no shield item. So, stuff like that is pretty frustrating. But there are more options, so it's probably okay. Push experience, thug is insane. I would argue that the reload is almost better than this. Almost. It's not, but it's close. So we want Junkyard Club. Bonk is probably one of the most busted skills in the entire game. Dagger for farming would be good. Thieves Guild would be good. Was that even a battle? Club is okay. Maybe a skirmish. Ammo skills. This could break the game. On crit reload is GG. And I got it. It's over. It is done. Now this is better on the left. <laughs> this is it. We, we found it. Now I just need repeater and it's actually over. But even without repeater, I still just farm. Yeah, I still farm. Absolutely farming right now. When you crit reload. Okay, it's not done though. I guess I only have 30% crit. That's true. Very true. Crit heal, weapon, experience, loot. So loot could be good. I would argue loot is usually better than XP. It can give you ammo, it can give you cooldown reduction, it can give you experience. Gives you money as well, and I need money. There's cooldown. There's damage. Now, the reason I'm buffing the dagger over the pistol sword is because pistol sword's damage cannot crit. So, the damage is basically double on throwing knives. Although, you could argue that since this is activating the pistol sword, it's probably better on pistol sword, but... I don't know. It's a close, it's a close call. It's close. Right now, it's obviously better on Pistol Sword. I think late game, it's arguably better on the knives. Because it's already much higher damage. I don't know. It's probably marginal. All right. Mamasaur is cool, but you're dead. <laughs> this, is, this is classic Vanessa. This is the only reason she's still viable, I think. Because Poison has fallen off the map, I think. Yeah, both of the other characters can completely annihilate poison, and even the ammo builds have a decent matchup into poison. I don't know why it's bug. Like medium, yeah, medium's where it's at. Nothing tiny, nothing huge. Okay. All about moderation. I'm very down for that. Now this I'm incredibly down for that. The crew. And now this activates before. Okay, now it's actually insane. 30%, 100 damage. GG. No, 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 it's bugged. Stop! I need the gold. I'm gonna restart. All right, I'm back. Okay. Breathe in. Everything's okay. To experience Robo Bouncer, just pump. Yeah, pump experience here. Wow, so much damage. And again, every fight, five damage, two percent crit chance. It's slowly but surely getting out of control. Katana. Actually, I shouldn't sell that yet. 20 damage. And just push experience, right? Okay. More experience for small and medium. If I get this... Well, it's not that relevant, I guess. I... Do I really want to spend 10 gold to level, to get to experience? Yeah, sure. Ooh, the keener the blade, the quicker the Pistol fight. sword. I still need some money. I do not need more damage. Otherwise, I would take jewel. Jewel is now free. So I could get plus 20 damage, but it's, it's just irrelevant. Nobody has the HP to tank this right now. 
Not on day eight. Goodbye. See ya. <laughs> Land legs make you yeah, I just got. I have a completely cracked you build. The fact that line. Pet Rock is also so fast when it shouldn't be is super, super insane. Now I'm questioning it because now maybe yeah, day nine, it, it's possible they might have like Pig specifically maybe dumped money into HP. So I don't know if one experience is enough to justify 25 damage. Oh yeah, they buffed it. It's 25 now. Skills. You have at least a grain of wisdom since you have come to me. Oof. I mean, it's literally double. Any amount of crit chance is worth so much here. The lead duelist for lifesteal is interesting, but for experience, so hard to pass up. A little bit too hard to pass up. Actually, I could run out of ammo here. Oh, wait, what? I guess not. <laughs> uh, 3,500 HP just <laughs> gone. Guess I got some lucky crits. Upgrade weapon. Ooh, plus one ammo is better than upgrade. Although it makes it diamond, but the cooldown doesn't really matter on throwing knives. It's about the actual ammo it has. Slow skills. Do I even have a slow? Hell no, but it's better than both of these. I'll still grab this if we find a way to slow. That would be nice. Medium for repeater. What can I get you? Wanted poster for eight gold. Sure. I mean, it's only worth like two XP. Would I pay eight for two XP? Probably not. Eh. Nah, probably not. Fishing rod at golden. I could find Clamra, but I wouldn't really know where to fit it. No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't know. I would have no idea how to fit it on the board. The board's kind of locked. Okay, Pig might have a decent amount of HP here. Hopefully I get the crits to reload. Let's see what we can do here. Yep, GG. Oh, Pig is really scary with the uh, bees now. They changed the bees. Oh, they're not dead. Okay, good. I reloaded. So, Beehive now... It does not trigger every single busy bee, which was a bug before, but now the bees trigger off of you activating any item. So it's basically caltrops, but a small, it's like, well, it's a three slot caltrops because you need the busy bee hive and then you need a busy bee. And caltrop has been nerfed. It's now only a diamond item. So that's also interesting. Doesn't repeater take the cake over a skill here, even though my crit chance is not the best. It's not like I can actually go infinite. But it's more infinite than double barrel for now. And I need to scale the crit, so it's probably better to go for it. There it is. Diamond shovel, by the way. What the hell? Do I just buy this for fun? Hell no. Gold skills, yeah. Whoa, okay. That would be quickly scaling the crit on this, which would be nice. When you use an ammo burn, that could open up burn skills. This is new. I do not think this is very good at all. This, in terms of damage, this is not relevant. I feel like this is just better. What I'm looking for is the maximum amount of crit chance to... Have repeater permanently proc dagger, which procs repeater, which procs dagger, which makes uh, infinites. And I have, I bought myself so much time. I think it's worth it. Yeah, I would do anything for crit chance here. Even though I have less flexibility with skills now because I don't have the burn. Let's see if it does anything here. It's still not bad. Right now, immediately, I would say it's worse than Double Barrel, but it will be better soon. Pretty quickly. Diamond Battery. Pretty good stuff, but a little bit out of place. Your weapons gain 13 damage. Hmm. That does kind of matter. But loot, though. Loot for ammo, yeah. It's too big. Like, any amount of ammo is so huge. Cooldown's fine. Pushing XP. 
is always good. Upgrade heal item, leftmost damage increase. It's, it's got to be experience, right? Just got to get to the... Okay, 25. We're out to dethrone I still think I demolish most no builds here. I'd hope. Oh, this is definitely falling off. Maybe I should cut this. But it, it is a lot of damage, right? Oh, there's the freeze. Yeah, unfortunate. No, it's still good. Because it's reduced and it's still buffing every part of my combo, so it's still good. Like, this 20 damage translate to, translates to a ton, right? So it's still, still pretty good. I would kind of rather have, like, maybe a Clamra to proc the freeze. And then maybe a poison item to proc the poison instead of this. Just to have more control. Because right now I'm all in on damage if they have... Whoa. So this is not necessary once I have better crit chance. But it's kind of good now. So I have less opportunity to like brick myself. But it might... Yeah, it's probably worth it. That way I almost never run out of ammo, which is nice. But I'm still not infinite comboing. Still worth taking, I think. Uh, Ammo items. That could be an upgrade for dagger. Could be an upgrade for repeater, but... Eh. I'm thinking about the 25 damage, which I, th I think at this point really does matter. Especially against pig. Yeah, I think it's better. Then a potential upgrade. I think 25 is better than potential upgrade. Maybe not in the long term. I mean, we're getting to repeater, so 50% crit would be the sweet spot here. And we're getting there. Day 11 is still a point where people don't have all the broken builds online, so I still have a pretty good chance to just uh, own them. Oh, plus one ammo. Yeah, it's still better on dagger. Level 16 before the end of the day? Nope. Oh, actually, maybe. I don't know. Probably not. Gumballs for crits? This could be huge. Wait, do I get to level? I think I do. This could be game-changing. Well, not really. I'm, I'm already, like, favored to win most fights, but... It might make my build insane, yeah. Oh, crit chance. Nice. Very good. 4% crit chance. 3, three damage on everything. 20 HP. Pretty good stuff. Crit... That's huge. Cannot be slowed. Ooh. Okay. Interesting. So if I don't care about crowd control, then this is objectively better because I can put crits on repeater, which means it has 98% crits with level up with the start of fight, which means it always procs the dagger, which effectively creates the infinite. So this would create the infinite. This would help me not lose to crowd control though. But still, the issue with this is that if this gets frozen, my infinite's already offline. So the problem is I have to protect both of these. So I would argue it's just better to slam the crit. And just guarantee this this win. If they don't if they don't if they don't have enough control, they lose, and I have the best board possible dodge control because usually you have bigger items that don't do anything but i actually have shark claws that can get stunned or frozen and slowed this can get frozen and slowed this can get frozen and slowed so i have to dodge freeze on these two essentially but we sh uh, yeah vanessa is the one that can actually crowd control the best so we'll see hopefully it's not like crazy freeze puffer fish or something gg i want to say i think i go off first and i have way more max hp as well I push so many levels compared to them you fall like a that I crushed the mirror match. The Good stuff. To the easy, easy, the easy 10 wins. Strikes. So yeah, You can see Vanessa, even though she is the worst character right now in the meta, I would say, she still has... Like, if you get a good start, you can steamroll, which is nice. It's probably the only character that has like a pretty clear steamroll. Well, I guess Dooley has Harmadillo now. <laughs> okay, we got the legend. Yeah, Dooley has Harmadillo, which is kind of... <laughs> but it's still worse than the weapon builds in terms of DPS, so... 
Like, Vanessa probably still wins those as long as she's, like, in a comfortable position. But, yeah, you can definitely win streak your way to victory with Harmadillo. It's so nasty. Legend 265, so... Kind of late to the party, but that's all right. I don't care that much. I'm just happy to be done with the actual ranks and to be on the leaderboard finally. Feels pretty good. Ooh. Oh, wait, I already have that. It's just that now it's diamond only. Used to be gold. All right. Pretty fun run. Not very consistent. You can't... <laughs> it's, that's a very difficult... Uh, or uncommon run to assemble. I think in the exact way that I did. Usually, you'd have no crit scaling. You'd have to play Watch Tower. I don't remember what it's called. What it? <laughs> I keep forgetting every single time, and I feel like I say it correctly, and then I forget it again. Crow's Nest. You'd have to get Crow's Nest, and then you're more susceptible to RNG freeze. Stuff like that. So I had like the Exodia build with the crit reload and the the aquatic item cooldown plus 100 damage. Like that's the best build you can find if you have crits. But if you don't have crit, you kind of have to go into the kind of more um, more fragile version of the build. So it's probably like okay consistent since you can kind of target ammo items. The only issue is finding the skill. So if you find an ammo skill vendor, you're in a fantastic spot. But otherwise... You, get, you better hope you're win streaking to 10 because you're, you're going to fall off if you don't find that skill for the most part. Either way, thanks for watching. Really quick one, actually. Only 40 minutes. Maybe a little bit less, actually. Either way, don't forget to leave a like, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.